Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SVPCAT. I am really honored that I am present in this podcast with India's youngest female podcaster. She is a TEDx speaker, a soft skill trainer, and currently studying architecture. Please welcome Miss Sneha Tauri. Thank you. Thank you. Or should I say the Sneha Tauri? I would I would prefer the latter one. The Sneha Tauri. <laughs> the the Sneha Tauri. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to like it the. the title of the sneha tauri makes sense because you know you have fast you we are really fascinated by how much th- things you have conquered right yeah. at such a young age like so many different ventures kaise kar liya aapne ye sab itna sab kuch i think i just have one word ho gaya sab kuch <laughs> <laughs> i don't know maine kaise kiya it all just happened with time and i think uh, one word to describe how i have done all of this is because i was very determined and i i always had that courage or the zeal कि मुझे कुछ उखाड़ना है आई जस्ट डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू सेटल माई सेल्फ बाई जस्ट बींग एन ऑर्डिनरी किड हु इज़ गोइंग टू स्कूल्स एंड कॉलेज हैविंग अ डेली रूटीन एंड जस्ट सेट सेट यू नो काइंड ऑफ मेकिंग माई सेल्फ ओन कम्फर्टेबल इनाफ कि ठीक है मुझे बीस पच्चीस हज़ार का जॉब मिल जाएगा एंड देन आई वी ऑल ओके बट आई हैव ऑलवेज सीन टू माई डैड डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ गुड स्टफ इन बिल्डिंग हिज ओन एम्पायर सो दैट हैज़ गिवन मी अ लॉट ऑफ बूस्ट टू डू मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर So your dad is your inspiration. Hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> Look, uh, a person like uh, if you're talk, uh, talking about me or anybody like jumping into so many ventures and conquering it at like at this age seems very difficult, right? Okay. It looks very difficult, but yeah. like, can you describe like how is the what's the roadmap for that? See, the roadmap is very early in my life. I understood the meaning of making vision boards. Mm. So when we talk about vision boards, it is it is a part of how a person does manifestation. And I I never knew that manifestation exists. करता है, mm. but until and unless I I actually had experienced it. So even for example, when you introduced me, that I am a TEDx speaker, it is it is because I've manifested once that I really want to become a TEDx speaker. And uh, I still remember when I was going through an exchange program to France. Mm. Uh, there was this personal coach who was coming at my place and teaching me sneha how to sit how to stand how to talk how to make an eye contact how to do a proper proper shake and everything and it was all because i was going to a foreign country for the very first time in my life and it was all alone because mm. exchange programs mein humko akele jana padta hai and by that point of time he also taught me this concept of vision board which was very new to me and uh, i realized sooner or later that okay this is something interesting because you see your life on a sheet of paper in front of you so that kind of has uh, you know imbibed me a lot of uh, motivation or maybe it has given me a lot of boost sneha wow this life looks so exciting which you are going to go and which you are going to live in your coming future so i think the road map to do something which you really aim for is just to make a very simple decent a uh, cleared and a uh, significant vision board and i think just seeing it every day in the morning and mm. feeling that you are already living the life that you want to live so that's that's it it's wow. <laughs> amazing like, uh, when did you find this fascination with soft skills right because it's a very like of, often overlooked thing right yeah. schools mein college mein sikhaya nahi aata utna like when did you find that to be something that you are really good at and you want to train people for that i think again the credit goes to my father why <laughs> is because when i was uh, in my first year uh 2019 back in 2019 my father one day apparently he came to me and he was like sneha there's a meeting of an organization named jcn and you just have to go there i said papa i am completely an introvert i do not wish to go anywhere so he was like no sneha you have to go and this is an order from a father to a daughter i said okay papa i'll go just relax i'll go <laughs> i went to the meeting and and at that point of time i did not know anything about jci so as we know rotary as an organization there is a jc there is an, another organization organization which is called as jci and jci as an organization is only recognized for the leadership hmm. that uh, i mean the skills that they provide and also for the training ladder mm. so eventually i got to know that there are five different training ladders and if at all you clear all the five training ladders you get certified by the title of national trainer so 
पहले के दो तीन तो मैंने ऐसे टाइम पास में किए लाइक इफेक्टिव पब्लिक स्पीकिंग वाज़ द वेरी फर्स्ट वन एंड आई लाइक इट आई लाइक इट आई वाज़ लाइक ठीक है दिस इज दिस इज गोइंग गुड एंड इन द वेरी फर्स्ट लेटर वी वर टॉट हाउ टू गिव इंट्रोडक्शन इन थर्टी सेकेंड्स हाउ टू स्पीक कॉन्फिडेंटली हाउ शुड आर बॉडी लैंग्वेज शुड बी ऑन स्टेज एंड एंड वेरी वेरी बेसिक्स ऑफ सॉफ्ट स्किल्स आई लाइक इट पहले के दो तीन लेवल्स तो ऐसे ही क्लियर हो गए जब फोर्थ लेवल आया द वेरी लास्ट ईयर आई गॉट टू नो दैट दिस इज समथिंग That is actually giving me a boost कि स्नेहा अगर तेरे को रात को कोई तीन बजे भी उठ के बोले कि स्नेहा यू हैव अ क्राउड ऑफ वन फिफ्टी और मोर देन टू हंड्रेड पीपल राइट देर एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू गो एंड टॉक ऑन फॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड आई वॉज ऑलवेज रेडी फॉर इट आई मीन देर वेर डेज वेन आई यूज टू स्लीप एंड आई यूज टू गेट ड्रीम्स वेर आई एम टॉकिंग लाइक संदीप माहेश्वरी इन फ्रंट ऑफ वन लैख टेन लैख पीपल एंड आई जस्ट फेल लाइक दिस इज समथिंग जो मुझे मुझे आप कभी भी बोल दो कभी भी बोल दो आई जस्ट डू इट सो दैट फाइन टाइम आई जस्ट गॉट टू नो कि अब आर्किटेक्चर इज ओके बाय बाय आर्किटेक्चर दिस इज दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई एम गोइंग टू लिव माई लाइफ फॉर एंड आई एव ऑलवेज टोल दिस थिंग आई एव सीन पीपल वर्किंग सो हार्ड बट दे आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद द काइंड ऑफ वर्क दे डू सो आई ऑलवेज हैट दिस थिंग कि लेट्स अर्न अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अमाउंट ऑफ मनी बट लेट्स बी हंड्रेड परसेंट सेटिस्फैक्टरी इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट वी डू सो आई ऑलवेज हैट दैट थिंग एंड आई थैंक आई थिंक I would love to give all the credits to JSA as an organization because that is the organization where I am because of which I am here today. That's mm-hmm. it. So that means basically being satisfied is way more important than being rich. Hundred percent. Yes. Hundred percent. Uh, diving into your life, right? Uh, moving from Yavatmal to Nagpur. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> What was the drastic changes that you felt during that time? I think the very first, which I, which was the opening of my TED speech, huh. was I. I always. Uh, had terrible dressing sense. I mean, you'll never imagine. Then there's still a clip on my uh, Instagram reel on my Instagram handle. I said that I always was going outside by having this green pant and pink top <laughs> with golden heels and golden chappal and just a lot of uh, funky clips on my head and just going out there. And I think the very first thing that I got to know after coming to Nagpur was. people here had very broad mindsets mm. and people there in yavatmal because obviously when you move from a smaller town to a bigger city you can see the change of the lifestyle itself and that's how you can understand different lives different backgrounds different people different mindsets different thoughts different ambitions different struggles mm. different experiences and ev- everything is different only so it was all sort of an another experience and i think that was one of the bestest decisions that my father has ever made Okay. So every question you will be asking me, I'll give, I'll, I'll, I'll have my father somewhere down the line. <laughs> <laughs> That's really amazing. Thanks. Uh, now moving forward, let's do a rapid fire round. Okay? Oh, okay. Rapid fire round. Go on. Okay. Uh, favorite hobby? Sitting ideal in a room and talking to a ceiling. <laughs> Day person or night person? Day person. Okay. If you got stuck in an island, what, what's the one book that you would take with you? You can win by Shiv Khera. Shiv Khera. Okay. Uh, first impression of SPPC. I loved the vibe and I felt that it is a it is a very good college. <laughs> okay, one word for your entire professional journey. My dream life. Dream life. Wow. Like one new thing that you might be aiming for the future. I think I want to come in top ten business women entrepreneurs in Asia. Okay, current titan in the podcasting field. Current. Titan in the podcasting field. As in. As in, uh, which is something that uh, you find fascinating, or feels like that's something that the level that you want to reach. I think just becoming new uh, podcaster. I would not name. Uh, I do not want to compare myself, but I do not want to become Ram Ranvi Rala Badia for a lot of people. <laughs> I want to be the Sneha Tauri who would be known as, uh, who would be seen as to learn something like art of conversations from. Okay. Lastly, what's one advice that you would like to give to our viewers? Oh my god I have a lot of them because I've had a lot of struggles okay uh so everybody who is watching this video right now this is for you personally coming from the sneha tauri i think uh, life is not as complicated as we all make it in our college period or uh, maybe the teenage phase so i think the only thing is to find to find your passion and by passion i mean something that you are able to do in the midnight by 3 o'clock eventually so agar aap wo kar sakte ho to just go for it and do not settle for less know your self worth and take a stand for yourself uh do paise kam kamao par khush raho satisfied raho aur uh, i think that's it 
I think, but if you want more, you can always DM me on Instagram. Man, <laughs> <laughs> we are really excited for your session. Thank from you. From Oxford to awesome, and we are really looking forward to watching that. Same. Thank you, this Neha Tauri, <laughs> for at, uh, coming to this podcast. We are really honored. We are really happy no. to be to having you with us. No. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.